everybody, Tessa Bias here. I'm really excited to be a guest designer for LA Studio this month. And this is the second project that I uh, got to showcase on their blog. And this is a Heidi Swap Memory Deck Spinner. And um, last year I did my um, November Days of Gratitude on it, but I took those cards off and instead um, this year I'm using it for kind of a December daily approach. And so I used the Tis the Season collection from Ellie Studio to create a whole bunch of cards, one for every day um, of December leading up to Christmas, and then a bunch of extra cards for photos and journaling and, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you card by card um, because on the blog it was kind of hard to show you in pictures the scope of the spinner. So, um, well here, let me show you how it spins. So if you haven't seen one of these, it's just like the old-fashioned Rolodex. Um, and as you can see, I've got quite a bit on here, but there's still a lot of room left. Uh, I plan to add photos and things like that um, as the month goes on. So that's how it spins. Super fun, right? And so now I'll just go card by card so you can get a closer look. For the first card, I made it a title card and um, I used a die cut to cut out the card out of pattern paper. And then this is um, an acrylic piece that says Good Cheer. And I love that because it's nice and heavy. So being the first page, it helps, I don't know, get the momentum going, I guess, for a good spin. But um, all the cards also, um, either have pattern paper on the back or a blank on the back so I can add stuff to the back too but I did focus my embellishing on the front so that's the front this one I simply stapled a die cut to the top and then this card here shows you kind of how I did all the months or all the days of the month um, so there's a pattern paper called countdown and it's a whole bunch of these gray circles and with numbers up to 25 and then other circles with words and little icons and things like that. So I used a one inch circle punch and I punched out all the numbers that I needed and all the words and pictures that I wanted to. And so there's a card that has one of these gray numbers on it somewhere and to give it a little bit of extra sparkle, I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, maybe a little bit. There you go. I added some iridescent um, glitter glue to the numbers just to give it a little extra shine. So um, all the cards with the numbers have a little photo mat here ready. I like to mat all my photos and so this is a two and a quarter inch mat so I can print two inch photos that I can just pop in there. And I made sure not to glue anything down on top of the mat so I can slip my photo in really easily when I have it ready and then I'll just use a glue dot or something to secure that down and then I made a lot of paper clips too and um, I'm going to actually show you how to make this paper clip when I'm done going through the spinner okay so a little less talking a little more showing okay there's also journaling cards in the collection so I made sure to use journaling cards throughout um, I did trim them down just a little bit so they're not three by four anymore they're about three by I think three and three quarters so I didn't cut off a lot but I did cut off a little bit to make sure that it would spin all the way around there's number two. The puffy stickers in the collection are super, super cute. I really um, loved working with those and wish I'd had another sheet of them too. Um, some I just uh, did blank white cardstock and stapled or glued little bits on. Um, this is a paper clip I made out of ribbon. Here's number three. Um, some of these, because it's a spinner, I had fun with trims that were bulkier than I would normally use like on a mini album. So this was some metallic uh, wire trim that I found at Michael's and I just made a little wreath out of it and then put one of the circles in the center. Here's number four. I used tool on a paper clip for that one. So some are really simple and then others are more embellished. Um, just leaving lots of room for photos and words that I can add later. Another journaling card. I tried to alternate the shapes as best I could, but I didn't follow a pattern. I figure I'm going to be adding lots of photos and, and things 
um, as we go and so it would just be too hard to keep it in a real precise pattern. Oh, on this one I wanted to show you. I love that little stamp. Um, I didn't do a lot of stamping with the Tis the Season stamps yet. I want to wait until I write a lot of the words in the journaling and then I'll add stamping after that. I tried to make each card look a little different. There wasn't really a recipe that I followed per se. Um, just kind of the same idea though with a photo mat and the number and some embellishing. For this paper clip I, I simply glued a pom-pom onto a paper clip. Um, last Christmas I did a little quickie tutorial for these paper clips on my Instagram. If you wanted to scroll back that far you could catch that. There's 13. Now this one was a four by six card, which definitely would not fit on the spinner. So what I did is I cut it in half and glued it back to back. Um, so I've got some journaling space on either side. And more three by four cards. So some of these um, are mainly for journaling like this. Um, but I could very easily add a photo to the back if I wanted to. There's more stamping here. I thought it was the perfect size for this tab, so I might do more of that later. And 18, another three by four card. I love the color palette of Tis the Season. You've got your traditional red and green and white, but then a little bit of pink and black and white. and. You know I love black and white. This floral I think is my favorite. You know I'm a sucker for floral. And we're getting there. Christmas Eve. And the 25th of December, I didn't use that die cut because it said December 25th. So even though I have two circles with 25 on it, I don't care. I think it's cute. Okay, so there's my spinner so far. And um, I think I might in January, once I have all the photos in and the journaling, I might do another video to show you what it looks like when it's completely filled up. But um, I wanted to show you how to make those paper clips. So um, if you've got that countdown paper, you can make one too super easy. So these are the only two circles I have left. I used all of them on the paper. So I've got a little candy cane with a bow and a little gingerbread man here. So you want to start with um, one of them. Make sure you're working with the top of your paper clip. I um, learned by experience that uh, you got to have the paper clip facing the right way. So um, go ahead and make sure that it's straight and the way you want it and then take some foam adhesive I honestly don't even know what brand this is. It's just something I had in my drawer that was no longer in a package. <laughs> so, um, but it works great. So take some foam adhesive and put it in the center and make sure it goes over the top of your paper clip as well. And that way, um, when you put the other side on, the paper clip is nice and secure. And then, to make it more festive though, we want to add this tinsel to it. So, um, this is stuff I bought in bulk online, but I just saw some at, um, where was I? Hobby Lobby had some. Um, I've seen it at Michael's before. Maybe look in the Christmas ribbon. But it's a wired ribbon, and um, so what I do first is I measure about how much I need. Whoa! And then I pull the wire out because I don't need it. <laughs> it actually makes it a little harder for me to work with it, I think. So um, then what I do is I take some glue dots. You could maybe put a ring of hot glue around it if you wanted to, but this was ah, just as easy, I think. And... Um, I didn't have to burn my fingers or plug anything in. So I'm putting these glue dots around um, on the sides, the top and the bottom. I'm gonna try to get one over the paper clip there too. Uh, just having the adhesive at the edge of the circle is what's important. So um, all the way around and up to the edge. 
Okay, I think I got it there. Okay, then what I do is take the tinsel. I like to put the bottom at the bottom of the paper clip and then catch the adhesive dots. <laughs> My little girl is sneaking in. So if you hear somebody, that's her checking out what mama's doing. Okay, so um, now that the tinsel is on, see how it looks there. Uh, oh, my guy got a little crooked. Let me adjust him. There we go. Okay, then I can just stick the other side on. There we go. And now I have a paper clip with some festive tinsel, and I can stick that on one of my cards. So I'll just save that with all my extra scraps that I have left over that I'm going to add to whatever cards and photos I add throughout December. So there you have it. So I'm going to link to the blog post in the um, description of the video. So if you haven't seen the, the blog post on Ellie Studio blog, then you can go check that out too. And if you haven't um, taken a look at the Tis the Season collection, you really need to because it is an adorable Christmas collection. And I'm really excited that I was able to use so much of it to put together my um, basically my December daily. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and um, feel free to ask me any questions there too. Thanks!